Uh, yeah, I mean, is this going to be one where you look back and regret some decisions? I mean, the, the field goals and then taking the deep shot there that, that resulted in that last, you know, the second to last interception? No, sir. If, uh, what about the field goal tries? I mean, I know you've obviously gone for fourth downs a lot. Were those just close enough that you wanted, you opted for the points? That's it. Yep. And uh, go ahead. Hey, coach, thanks for taking the time. I guess uh, just just talk about a little about the game and uh, just uh, CIC. I know how important that is to you guys. Just just letting that kind of slip through a little bit. Yeah, I mean, just really, really competitive football game, Pat. I mean, I think uh, both teams played extremely hard and uh, we needed to make a couple of more plays. And then for my follow up, what did you learn about your guys today? What do you think? Well, I mean, it's, it's kind of what I thought all year long. I mean, they do battle and they do hang in there. And we got a bunch of guys now that have, you know, been exposed and been able to play and be involved in college football. And hopefully that carries over to the off season. You know, the physicality of the game. You know, I think that's one thing they learned throughout this year and how much goes into preparing for a contest too. Dylan Scott, go ahead. Dylan? Dylan, you might be on mute. Okay, Brent, we'll go back to you. Yeah, what, what can you tell us about McKinley O'Neill? That was a new name to a lot of us. Yeah, it was, Brent. You know, he um, he, he played um, – he's played D-line, he's played O-line. We moved him back to D-line uh, five weeks ago. And, uh, um, yeah, he made a few things happen today. Ton of heart, good battler. He's one of those guys, I just think strength-wise, and we, we got to settle in at one pos one position for his sake. We moved some guys around, probably two – I wouldn't say too many guys. We just had to team-wise, and he accepted that role, and I thought he played pretty well today too. What do you think of the distribution on, of offense? I mean, Cade Remsburg only had four carries. I think Brad Roberts, very little in the second half. Is, is it just the way the game dictated you needed to be running plays? Yeah, I don't – how many plays? I'll look it up right here. I'm trying to think. We ran 40 plays. I mean, that's uh, – so, you know, in a game, I think any game you'd like to run more than 40. I, I, I mean, you, you want to run more than 40 in any game. And then, uh, you know, anything about that last drive for Army that stood out to you? Uh, no. I mean, from our perspective, we got to come up with a stop. And, um, and yet our defense battled their – golly, our defense battled all day. Our, our, our team did. Our team fought and battled. They have all season long. Pat, anything else for Coach? Hey, I guess last thing I have for you would be uh, you, you kind of got your wish. You're going to have your own little stage for the Army uh, Air Force game. I guess it was a prelude, prelude today. It's a great game today. Uh, how excited are you for that? Are you are you asking Pat as far as a game down the road that's played at a neutral site? Exactly. Yeah. So I mean, you got to yeah, preview I, I, today. I, I'll tell you, you know, Pat. I, I think, I I think there ought to be years we ought to see if you don't play at the third Saturday in December. And I mean, just you know, and do you move it around here a little bit? You know, do you play it one year in Atlanta? Do you play it one year in who knows um, Houston or Dallas? Um, I I think it'd be good for the sport. Anything else for coach? That's all I have. Yeah, no, me too. Okay. okay, guys, Kyle Patterson and uh, Brent, we'll start with you. All right, Kyle, what, what what's it like right now in the locker room? What, what's going through the team's minds? Frustration. Um, you know, the game came down to a couple of plays, and uh, we just didn't make those plays, and that's ultimately came down to you know, a couple of field goals. Um, our defense was playing lights out. You know, they gave us a chance to come down on that last drive. But, um, yeah, just frustration. It's just I, I feel bad for those seniors, you know. Yeah. What what allowed the passing game to come alive so suddenly on that one drive? I honestly think that the DBs just didn't respect what we were doing. So, when that – they were just flying off the ball really hard um, on our – trap game and stuff like that. So when we started opening it up, they're caught off guard a little bit, which helped uh, open things up and helped uh, 
you know, them respect us a little bit more in the passing game. And we'll go to uh, Pat. Go ahead. Hey, thank you very much for taking the time. I guess I'm sorry to bring this up, but uh, CAC, I know how important that is. How, how, you talked about frustration. How, just to see that slip through your hands, what's, what, what are the emotions going through your mind right now? For me, you know, being in this position, it's just, it's just an honor to, you know, be able to play for that trophy. You know, I just feel bad for these seniors. You know, I wanted it so bad for them. Um, we've been practicing so long and just preparing so long for Army. And then to finally get that chance, it's just to lose it by that much is just really frustrating, you know. And then, you know, we kind of got a glimpse here of what it's like to, uh, you know, have the stage to yourselves with Army and Air Force. And then, you know, there's there's talk, you know, they're, they're going to have a showcase coming up. I guess I guess you guys showed that this, this is a – people like this thing, don't they, this this rivalry? Oh, yeah, it's the one of the best in college football. Even, in, you know, you always know it's going to be a grind out to the very end. Um, and that's what it was today, you know, and we just – a couple missed plays that didn't lead us to the top, you know. Uh, Dylan Scott. Uh, Julia McGuire. Uh, with the way Army was defending the run, do you guys feel like um, the passing game was the best way to move the ball down the field? Or, or why? what was such um what was Army doing that made the running game so difficult for you guys? Uh, I don't know. They're filling gas pretty well. Um, when we started airing it out, I think that's whenever coaches realized that these DBs weren't respecting us on the long ball. So when we started airing it out, that started opening up more things with our run game, as we saw that last drive. And, um, you know, if we didn't throw that pick, I, I promise you we would have scored that drive. And we were, we were rolling with our offense. So it was really kind of frustrating. Um, finally getting the drive together and figuring out our offense a little too late, though. Anybody else with a question for Kyle? Yeah, I, I do. Oh, I see Dylan's got one, too. Well, you should go first. Okay. Um, you know, being a sophomore, and then obviously Hazik's a sophomore, uh, Brad Roberts, a sophomore, a lot of a lot of big, big guys coming back, kind of setting a foundation here. What do you see going forward, and how will this season kind of spring you guys ahead? Oh, this is just laying the groundwork for the next season. Um, we had a lot of guys take the turn back, so um, next season they'll all be back, and we'll be even better than we are this year. And especially with these young guys getting the experience, especially for me, um, playing these first couple games, um, just that experience, you know, that we can do out and perform with a bunch of young guys and to have those guys returning as juniors is going to be tremendous for our offense and our defense as a whole. How different do you feel now than you did, you know, three months ago before you had played in the game? I feel way more confident. <laughs> you know, um, I got a little nervous uh, first first uh, Navy game and then each each game just building on top of it. Um, I end up building that confidence up, you know? Yeah. All right. Thank you. Well, Scott, go ahead. I was just going to ask kind of what you take overall from a season like this with everything that's happened and, you know, how difficult it's been just to play six games, to be able to get out there. When you look back at this year, you know, what will you take from it? Um, definitely learning to take the good with the bad and, you know, play with adversity. Um, you know, everything with COVID and not knowing if we're going to have a game this week or who's going to pop positive, it really just allows you to take respect to the game and just truly love each opportunity that you have and not take it for granted. We have time for one more. Julia, go ahead. Um, kind of piggybacking off of what Brent asked you about Hazik, that pass he threw to you, the touchdown pass. I mean, how good of a pass was that considering that was good defense? And then is that is that something that he would have done earlier this season? Um, To tell you, I really don't know. Um, every, every day at practice, we rep that. And it's just money every time. So building that chemistry in practice, it wouldn't it wasn't a surprise to me that in the game it just carried over perfectly. And you know, me and Zeke stay after practice late with each other, um, working on our throws and our passes and just getting that timing down. And it came out when it needed it the most um, in this game. Okay, thanks everybody. We're gonna let Kyle go and uh, bring in George Silvani. Thank you. All right, George. Sorry. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. 
George, George is going to open with a statement, and then we will take questions. Sweet. Uh, I just wanted to say that I, I hope when our season um, is looked back upon that it's not forgotten the, the great leadership of um, some of those guys like Ben Peterson and Parker Ferguson, uh, Noam Laufenberg, Joey Woodring, Grant Allison, uh, really that whole senior class. Uh, this has been probably the most challenging year for any football program, every football program in the country, but for us. Um, and guys really stepped up with young guys and took them under their wing and got young guys ready to play early and often. And it was always changing with COVID and you didn't know. And uh, I mean, my heart's been broken for, for two days now where with Michael Purcell, uh, one of my fellow D linemen, right? The last COVID test of the year uh, is not available to play. And, and it, it's things like that where guys have stepped up and, and taken care of business. And I just want to make sure that that message is out there that we, we couldn't be more proud of a lot of the leaders on this senior class. That's all I got. Great, Jim. Go ahead, Brent. Yeah, what did you, you talk about the class as a whole. What'd you learn about yourself this season? I mean, it's been week in and week out that you've played like you did today. And what's that, what's that tell you about you? Uh, I've known who I've been. I, I've just learned. Uh, I've gone through a lot of growth um, throughout this year, throughout the four years here, and uh, it's been a good experience. And then uh, tell me about the heartbreak of that fourth down play. Uh, I don't know if I've processed it yet, um, but it's definitely it's definitely tough, right? One play to win a championship, and not, you don't get it, and they do. Uh, hats off to them. Uh, Pat, go ahead. George, thanks for taking the time. Thanks for all your help all year. I just have one question for you, and uh, I know you haven't really processed it yet, uh, but I know how much the CIC means to you guys. Can you just give us a little taste of, like, maybe a little bit of emotion going through your head right now? Uh, I haven't processed it. I, I'm very, um, very sad and distraught, and, and I'm heartbroken um, for the guys, the seniors, for the guys in the locker room, uh, and, and that's kind of the the feelings of the whole team right now. Uh, Dylan Scott, do you have a question? Yeah, just uh, obviously the fact that you were able to play six games this season and kind of the way you, you battled, it, it didn't turn out the way you wanted today, but what do you take from a season like this and kind of what will you remember about yourself, about the team, about the way you guys, you know, handled all of this? Uh, it's definitely been a blessing to play. Uh, I don't know if I would have, I mean, if you had given me a money line to have this happen five, six months ago, I wouldn't have bet on it. Um, so it's been a blessing, but like, like I said, in my opening, I, I'm going to take away the leadership and the guys that I experienced this with and, um, how we always were on the goal and always kept getting better every day and taking care of the people around us. Uh, Julia McGuire. Uh, just knowing how well Army's defense played against Navy, did you guys feel like, as far as the defense for Air Force goes, you had to be, you know, extra on your A game? I, I don't think we went in with any pressure, extra pressure based on them. We knew they were a good team, and we knew we had to execute. And uh, at the end of the day, as a, as a whole team, including the defense, we, we didn't execute well enough there. Anything else for George? Yeah, George, what, what can you tell me about McKinley O'Neill? That was a name I didn't I know uh, so, anything about him. So McKinley O'Neill is George Savannah 2.0 with another year of eligibility. Um, he started on defense, went to O-line, actually played offensive line in the Navy game. So I don't know. I did not play offensive line this year in any snaps. So I don't know if anybody did that else in college football. Uh, and then you go out, he goes out here and gets 12 tackles today. That's absolutely uh, hats off to him. He played in a position he did not practice for until the last 48 hours. So that is more impressive than anything I've done all year. Uh, I love him and I'm very impressed with what he did tonight. Oh, and back to your season, last week or against Utah State, you played like three positions on the line, right? I mean, how, how difficult has it been to not only establish yourself, but be doing it at so many different positions? Uh, our offense is very complex. Um, so I learned how to know a lot in that time over there in the year I spent, I moved back last fall actually. Uh, so it was, that, that made it a lot easier to know the call and what different things, because on offense, you might have one play call and three fronts. And so you have to have three different assignments. It's very similar. Like you have one call and three different positions on the defense. Uh, so that, that helped out. 
Okay. Anybody have anything else for George? All right. Thank you, George. Appreciate Thank it, everybody. Thank you.